Temperatures definitely on the uh, cool side right now, but we are going to warm it up as we head through the next few days. Taking a look at the temperature right now, 55 degrees currently. Not bad as far as the dew point, 48, so it's a little bit on the uh, dry side, and we've just had a trace of precipitation uh, so far since midnight. 56 degrees, our high temperature today. Now, again, yesterday we were at 83 degrees, so 27 degrees below yesterday's high temperature, obviously well below the average of 75, and the record of 94 set back in 1895. A cool start this morning. 48 degrees and the average 54, especially when you consider most of the low temperatures over the last several days have been around 60 to 65 degrees. Here's what it looks like from Cranberry from earlier today. A lot of clouds moving through the region. Temperature wise, tomorrow we're looking at low temperatures that will be somewhere around 50 to 52 degrees, so pretty close to where we were this morning at 48 degrees. By noontime, we'll be up into the low 60s. Shooting for a high temperature that'll be near 70 degrees. So, as we take a look at what's happening outside, we have had a front which has slid across Pennsylvania. It is now just to the south of us, and that's where we're generating the storms that uh, we dealt with last night have now moved off down towards the uh, southeast. We could see a little bit of light shower activity as we head through the rest of the evening. This is going to be moving in, and again, it would be a light rain moving in as we head through tonight with the mostly cloudy skies as well. So that front, stationary front, is going to continue just to sag down a little bit further to the southeast as we head into Tuesday. So we'll start in the morning with mostly cloudy skies, maybe a sprinkle or a light shower well south of Pittsburgh. But we're also going to have high pressure up to our northwest, and that is going to be the battle tomorrow, trying to get those clearer skies or partly cloudy skies to work in as we go later in the day on Tuesday. The closer you are to that high, up towards the north and northwest, better chance you're going to have of seeing little sunshine as we head towards the afternoon. And then we take it into Wednesday, where I think the high pressure is going to win out over low pressure and that front, keeping most of the showers and clouds down into West Virginia. So here's how it looks on Futurecast tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy skies at 8 a.m. Start to break it up as we get into the afternoon. Partly cloudy as we head towards Tuesday at 6 o'clock for Pittsburgh. But if you're southeast of the area, you still could be socked in with the clouds. We take it into Wednesday. Just about everybody will be dealing with partly cloudy skies at 8 o'clock at noontime and also at 5 o'clock in the evening. And then as we take it into Thursday, that's going to be our next uh, real shot at seeing some showers that'll be a little bit more wide spread across the area. So 58 degrees later tonight, mostly cloudy with rain showers outside. 50 degrees in the morning, mostly cloudy. Light showers possible only well south of Pittsburgh. And then a high tomorrow. We're going to do a little better. We're going to shoot for 70 degrees, becoming partly cloudy in the afternoon when still out of the northeast at 10 miles per hour. As we head through the next few days, the warming trend continues. Wednesday, partly cloudy, 75. A chance of showers Thursday and Friday, but we warm it up even more, 78 and 80 degrees. And then we take it into the weekend. There's a chance of off and on showers as we head through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. It will be warm, 80 on Saturday and 78 on Sunday. And don't forget your four degree guarantee, your high temperature for tomorrow, 70 degrees.